Hello everybody and welcome to brand new series of Coco Place EU4 The Cossacks. That is the new expansion that came out a couple of days ago, last week actually. And today I'm gonna be playing as Portugal. Now why Portugal? I mean the Cossacks, everyone is playing hordes and stuff. Yeah, that's that's the main reason. I'm not gonna be playing as Horde, even though Horde's got some love and stuff. I'm not going to be playing Horde, I'm going to be playing Portugal, and there's one reason for that. The random new world has totally changed. They fixed it to be much, much better. And now you can even encounter uh, highly advanced, you know, Indians and stuff like that in the new world. So it's pretty damn cool. And when I generated the random new world, I set it to highly likely or frequent or something like that. So hopefully there's going to be some of those out there in the in the fog I do certainly hope so and yeah that is why I picked Portugal so, because they start with an explorer already so I can go and you know start exploring from the start I want to be playing as colonizer and go into the new world and even forget about the Europe maybe maybe I'll do some stuff in Europe but mostly I'll focus on the random new world I wanna go and you know meet the highly advanced new nations out there which is gonna be pretty cool so let's take a look at our country and let's figure out what has changed so we are a kingdom that is normal we have national manpower modifier plus 10 income from vassals plus 25 yeah we have Infante Pedro is our dude leader who is crap at military we already have two generals that is why we are losing one military point which is definitely not great we have air who is 3 to 2, not great as well, even worse than Mr. Pedro. Actually, he has the same number of pips, so that should be fine. Diplomacy, we do have a new window here. Show diplomatic feedback. Provinces of interest. Now, you can click on a province to set it as a province of interest, and other nations will know that you want to go for that province. So, if you're in war and someone else is a leader, They'll give those promises to you, hopefully, maybe, possibly. At least you're gonna tell the world that you want those promises. And I'm only gonna click that on Spain, just showing you off how it works. Just easily click on them and remove them and stuff like that. So, moving on, economy, everything is the same. We're actually making some money, that's good. Trade, pretty much the same, I would say. So, where are our dudes? Um, Tunis and Safi, because that's okay. Transferring to Sevilla, that's fine. That's okay. Let's see. Tech, yeah, it's the same, pretty much. Although this this layout has been changed a bit, I'd say. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. As I was saying about highly advanced American, you know, nations, they have the same tech as Western. It's just another name, but it works the same as Western, they do not pay any more points. So it would be very interesting to actually find them. Now let's see, ideas, that's pretty much the same, maybe some internal stuff has changed. I know that espionage has may study technology now, which is pretty damn cool. You, there's a new options here. You can see, study tech. So this is the technology of the target, you will get plus one power in each category where the target is at least two levels of tech ahead of you. So that's pretty good if you're, you know, nation that is lagging behind in tech or will be always lagging behind in tech. You can use that. So it's not that useless as it was. Our Portuguese ideas will give us trade efficiency and trade range at the start and global tariffs plus 20%. When we finish all our ideas, we have... Colonial range plus 25%, goods produced plus 10%, global trade power plus 10, merchants, we can get an extra merchant there, build plus, global sector increase, and trade efficiency in the end. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. We could actually form Spanish nation, nation, military. Yeah, we, we're not gonna do that. There's some missions for us. Mm, yeah, not really. Stability. This has switched around a bit. There's possible disasters. We're not gonna be having any disasters right now, hopefully. So we have religion. It's the same, I'd say. Military looks the same as well. There's an extra button here. Automatically raise maintenance during war. It's pretty damn good because I always forget about this. So yeah, we're gonna use that. 
We do have two leaders. One is a general. 333 is pretty dang good, so we're going to use Mr. Earl. Earl here. And we do have Diogo Gomez, who is an explorer. So, yeah. Definitely going to use him as well. Great guy, Diogo. We don't have any subjects yet. Explorer ready. Yes, we'll take a look at that. But first, the estates, which is the major, major new thing in uh, in the new expansion, the Cossacks. So now you have estates that you have to give them stuff. Let's see, I have a shortcut here. Oh, this changed as well. You know, you have a couple more, four more bindings available here. And there's the map modes you can pick up right here which is much easier than it was before and much simpler and better and all that stuff so i like it go away map mode okay so we have burgers who has no territory right now we have clergy who has one province that is porto we have nobility that has two provinces they control 20 percent of non-overseas development in portugal that's to those two provinces now they have influence you can see the influence i think when the influence reaches around 80, yeah, 80 percent, a state whose influence increases to more than 80 percent is at risk of seizing power in the nation. So that might get, you know, troublesome. Might get. We shall see. Uh, hopefully, they will not reach that. And then we have loyalty. Now you can see when they're above 60 loyalty. They'll give us development cost minus 2.5 and trade efficiency plus 5%. That's burgers. But since they're between 30 and 60, it's just trade efficiency. If they're below 30, it's crap. And that's how it works for everyone. There's a lot of stuff that people can give us. So yeah, we do want to have them at least over 30%. And if not that, we want them over 60. Over 60 would be great, but... It's probably not possible to have them all. So, might be a good idea, you know, to actually start playing. What do you think? To actually unpause the game and do stuff. Now, right at the start, we have England as our ally. We shall ally uh, Castile, because we love them. And we actually have three diplomats now, not like in our previous campaign, which was kind of unfortunate. Oh, this is a good button as well. You can now build right here. And they will, you know, just join, join that. So I can send fleet on exploration mission. I could do that, or I can manually control him. The coast of West Africa, or explore the waters of West Africa. Yeah, I think I'll control you manually for now, or maybe your first mission, you could go down there, but you don't need the cogs. The characters are good enough, I'd say. So go and explore the coast of West Africa and stuff. So he'll go down this way. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we have... Let's get rid of you. Actually, cogs. You will just be mothballed. I guess we don't need you right now. And barks, you will go and protect in Sevilla. We'll see what happens. And rivals. Yes, we'll take Morocco because, you know, we'll probably take all the African nations. We don't want to rival Castile. And that's it. Oh, there's one thing you can do as well. You can now threaten war. This threatens them with war over a province you have claim or core on. There is a chance they will back down depending how much they fear you. If they do not, a war of that province starts. If on the other hand, they accept and you gain the province, there will be a truce. So basically, you can peacefully gain provinces that you have claims or cores on if the country fears you enough. But I believe that you will get shitload of aggressive expansion for that. So it might be better you just go to war. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. So, uh, Pope. Pope could like us. Sure, let's make Pope like us. It's a good starting mission right now. Let's improve. Relations with you. Yeah, France is not going to be our friend. This is because we have England here. Who could we actually pick? Pick up uh, Brittany. Brittany could be a nation we could pick up. Aragon, maybe. Hmm. 
I'd rather not go for Aragon. I don't know. Anyway, let's um, pause for a day. See what happens. Nothing actually happened yet. Okay. Still is my ally. The game, I feel, is laggy a bit still. Uh, I do want Europe, not Africa. Well, okay, I'm pause now and stuff should work faster. Now let's see. Um, there's a new button, of course, here. Estates. I can gift, you know, give them stuff. I cannot give them uh, uh, my capital, which would be kind of bad. Yeah, we'll probably need more men. Let's get another horse. Maybe. Why not? Uh, I want this. We'll get maintenance down for now. I'll just continue on. So yeah, this will be probably a bit slow until we can get, you know... Uh, the admin tech 5 which in the end okay so you explore that is that it you're currently still on exploration mission yeah we shall be there we go exploration finished great nothing really happening there we cannot do this yet we could explore the waters of West Africa but you know what since we do have um, the island, islands here. I might as well send you west. Go west and you shall see stuff. Right? Right. I could go to Morocco and you know since they are my rivals I could make this stuff of interest to me. Probably the coastal provinces. I don't really want the inland. So stuff like that. That could be of interest to me. Yeah, and uh, I can use my diplomat. Actually, uh, yeah, let's use my diplomat. Come on. No, wait. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Uh, to fabricate clay. And it's gonna be on 10 years. Actually, let's focus on the litter. Okay, there we go. Fabricate that. Okay, you guys are here. Uh, you cannot go in here right now? Oh, is seriously? It's not how it works anymore? I haven't played the exploration stuff in, I don't know, over a year. So I guess it doesn't work anymore. I thought you can still manually send them. I know you can send conquistadors like that. Okay. Uh, advisor died. Well, I guess we could get some advisors. That might be a best idea. Uh, definitely... Don't want missionaries, friend. Production efficiency? Sure. I do want a guy here. Morale of armies should be fine. Still making money. So let's get trade efficiency. Sure. Make more money. Once that is done. And yeah. Let's take it slowly. Take it easy. You guys be together and be happy. We do have a great general, so I'm happy with that. We do have too many military leaders. That's unfortunate. Actually, England, I do want to tell you something. And that is, I do not want to join your offensive wars. So girl, screw yourself. Um. Yeah, Castile, I'll join with you if you need stuff. Noara, we need to work on you. I could say that we are friendly. This is new as well. Yeah. Kinda new. So, where are you going, boys? Oh, we didn't find this out. Noara, I want to be the ally. Sure. Tomorrow, be my ally. Still have one. Yeah, one diplo relation free. They are still exploring. Good. You do that, boys. You do that. 
coast of Africa. Beautiful, beautiful land. Now, I um, don't really want to have a royal marriage with you. There's no real need to do that. So, sorry. We have found Jolothian uh, Navy. Even though we don't know they exist yet. So, some pirates or something. I just ran away. Can we go to speed 5 and have the game and recording speed and everything work normally? We'll see. We'll try it out. Since it's, you know, it's a start. Are you coming back? Good. You didn't take any attrition. I mean, I'll be pretty pissed if I won't be able to, you know, manually send you somewhere. Because, you know, exploration finished. Okay, what can we do with you now? We can do this again. Or can we send you... Can we send you into the Terra Incognita? Okay, so you need the idea of request for the new world first. So it does matter if we have an explorer. Okay, fair enough. Are you gonna explore more if I send you there? You might go further. That would be acceptable. Hopefully you can actually reveal these. These islands could be pretty nice if you could, you know, actually send the dude there to make them ours. Okay, it looks like Europe hasn't plunged into any wars yet. Have they? Is Bavaria a different color now? Yeah, they are. I did not know that. They look cool. I like it. I kind of like it. Of course, I will pay attention at how actually Florence does in this in this game, just because I played this Florence last time. Okay, we have a claim on Morocco. They do have troops. They are the same tech as we are. They might actually go and, you know, try to fight me for Sota. I wouldn't really care that much. You know, we'll see. Uh, I guess I can fabricate a claim on oh, the as well. Sure, it's not like we can do. Much else right now. Oh, we did reveal the African coast down here. We know about Jolo now and Mali. Did you reveal Cape Verde? You did. Did they rename this Cape Verde? It used to be Cape Verde. Well, that's interesting. Can you explore more? No, you can't. You're pretty much useless now. Well, it's, it's great, I'll say. I mean, you did explore the coast, but now for I don't know how many years, you will just be sitting here. Lose military power or lose prestige? If you don't have any prestigious, I don't want to go into negative, but I don't really want to lose military power because you're so crap at it. Ignore them. You know what? I should probably just get rid of this. Diogo. I mean, he did what he could right now, and we won't be able to use him for another, I don't know, I don't know, 20 years? Something like that? Well, that's a lot of military power that we're gonna lose because of him. I'm actually gonna get rid of him. Sorry. Sorry, Diogo. Have to do this. We have to do this. Screw you. Well then, uh, the Carex. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh god. That is so bad. That is just so terrible. I mean, seriously? I don't Regency Council? Since when? Oh, that's Regency Council. Oh, I did not know that. Great to know that. Great to know. Oh, that is just so, so annoying. In the same second, I go and get rid of the dude, of course. 
My other leader dies, and now we are leaderless. GG. So, England, you went to war. Now, why am I not getting pop-ups about that? I do have you all selected, don't I? Yes, I do. So, where's my pop-ups? Where is my pop-ups? I don't know. I have to check on that between the episodes. Are we full on manpower? We almost are. Let's build up a couple more dudes. It's infantry, because they're cheap. We can build some more ships, and we do want some more trade power, so let's build you. We are out of money now. And with that, we're gonna finish this first episode. Since this is first episode, it would mean a lot to me if you could share, you know, like, share it around, do your magic. People will see it, people will watch it, and it's gonna be great. It will help me a whole bunch, and I will be grateful. So yeah, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Cook up.